Hey, it's Max again. I'm making a video for you guys to try and demonstrate one of the more simple Java web frameworks I found out there. It's called Spark. We're looking at the homepage for the project right here. I'm just going to illustrate just how I would get this simple web framework, minimal web app up and running. Um, in my case, I'm using IntelliJ. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to use Gradle as my build tool. And uh, it looks like there's both ways of using this framework with Java or Kotlin. Uh, I'm going to just use Java. Uh, and I'm using GDK 10. I don't think it matters whether what version exactly, but we'll give the name of our app. We'll call it Spark Example. Um, looks like IntelliJ is kicking off some default behavior. In our case, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to visit the downloads page and see exactly how it is that we need to add Spark as a dependency to our Gradle project. So I'll add this line here under dependencies. Uh, I think we can manually uh, trigger a re-download of any new dependencies and we can verify that we've downloaded the Spark uh, package. Now that we've got that built, let's create a new class. Uh, we won't even put it in a package. Um, there's a handy copy button here. Uh, the name of the class is just Hello World, so we'll create a new class called Hello World. And we'll copy paste the contents. Uh, last but not least, uh, IntelliJ allows us to just run our main method. You can see in the terminal that there's some warnings about logging, but otherwise what you might not notice is that the server process is actually running. And we can verify that we are indeed running a very, very, very simplistic Java web app. One thing I think listeners should think about with this web app is just how in contrast to other web frameworks for Java, like Spring Boot or um, Play Framework, uh, they are doing a lot of other things, but they often take upwards of seconds to start. And uh, I think that's one of the merits that people should think about with small web, fr web frameworks like Spark is how quickly we got this up and running. So just for hoots, let's change this around. Let's restart the server. Let's go back to the browser, refresh, cool. That's your basic changes. Hope that was helpful. Uh, in the next video, I'll be illustrating how to package this as a jar so that we can deploy the jar, a fat jar, um, to web hosting services like Heroku or AWS or what have you. Hope it was helpful. Bye.